Eric here with Pro Rebuild. Uh, if you guys have a 98 to 2000 uh, Chevy half ton truck, uh, 98 to 2002 uh, Savannah or Express van, or 01 and 02 three quarter ton or one ton uh, old body style Chevy truck, uh, they're equipped with one of these. These are called the Pass Lock or Anti Theft or VATS. Uh, or EVO module. There's several names that these are called by. Uh, these are very common failure points. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the symptoms and how you can buy one of these with a lifetime warranty that is fully tested and guaranteed to work. Anyhow, the first symptom that you get is a no start situation. You'll turn your key on, truck will crank, will not start. The uh, the way these work is that these sense the, a signal from the key and they tell the computer, okay, it's okay to start, this is the right key. Uh, when these go bad, they don't tell the computer anything and the car will not start. It thinks that you're trying to start it with a screwdriver or whatever. Um, now, uh, the security light, if the security light is on and it stays on, then most likely this is the culprit. There could be a wiring issue, uh, there could be a couple other issues, uh, but in my experience with these trucks, and we have sold a lot of these, uh, this is the most common failure point. I'm gonna show you how we test these. I built this testing rig, uh, it probably took more time than it's worth, but I wanted to guarantee what we sell. So we have a pass lock module here. Uh, we're gonna plug it in right, like this, and then we're gonna key on. Now you notice uh, this yellow light stays on. Uh, when, it, when this light blinks or turns off, that means that this is good. Now this particular one is bad, so this light will stay on. If uh, the light stays on, that means that this is not communicating with anything, uh, and uh, if this doesn't communicate, then it doesn't tell the computer it's okay to start. Um, now we're gonna tr key this off and try a different one that I know is good. We have several here. Um, there's another one, and as you notice, the light blinks on this. This is basically telling me that it's communicating with the module. Uh, that means the module is good. Uh, generally, uh, it's been our experience that as long as the, the module will communicate with the computer, then the module is good. Uh, the biggest problem is they, they stop communicating. Uh, sometimes the problem can be intermittent. Uh, sometimes where you'll be able to drive it and then the next time it won't start and then you can try the key relearn and that doesn't, sometimes that'll work, sometimes that won't work. Uh, generally these problems aren't like a flick of a switch. It's, it happens once and then it happens more often to the point of where you can't drive your vehicle. Um, anytime you replace these, you have to do the 30 minute key relearn. Uh, that is not an option with these. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to install your new module, uh, you key on and then, try, and then try to crank it for three or four seconds, uh, return to the on position. Uh, you leave it there for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you turn it off for 30 seconds and then you turn it back to the on position, not engaging the starter for another 10 minutes. Then you key off for 30 seconds and then you key back on for, for uh, 10 minutes. Uh, after that 10 minutes, you key off, wait at least 30 seconds, and the next time the vehicle should fire, if this happens. Now, when you do key on that last time before you start it, you should notice that the security light will turn off. If the security light doesn't turn off, it did not take the key relearn, and you'll have to start the process over. It's a very sensitive, very sensitive uh, process, and if you do one step wrong, you have to start from the beginning. Um, we, we sell these for $149.95. Uh, they are fully tested and rebuilt. Uh, we use the best components. We fully test them on this test rig that no one else has. Uh, you know, these are obsolete from GM. They're very tough to find anywhere else. And I would never buy a used one that you knew that you had any idea, uh, you had no idea that it would actually work. Um, you know, we sell these, we have had a 0% return rate on these. Uh, this actually has guaranteed us that every single one that goes out the door from us uh, will fix your vehicle if this is the problem. Uh, and, you know, we look forward to trying to fix many of these trucks where these obsolete parts are almost impossible to find. Uh, you know, I can't really say anything else. These, these are a very common failure point. I'm not sure why GM decided to stop making them. Uh, however, uh, we offer them. We have plenty of, of each of the four stock numbers or part numbers in stock at all times. Um, 
you know, any event in three years down the road that it fails for whatever reason, you just send it back to us and we'll send you another one. We have ample supply, so you won't have to be concerned about that. Uh, we can offer rush delivery. We can ship it next day. It's no problem. However you want to do it, uh, that's how we want to do it. Our price is set in, set in stone. Uh, that's what we get for every single one of these. So anyway, good luck out there, guys. I hope I shed some light on this common problem, but there's not a lot of information on. Uh, good night, guys.